All right, so I am about to dismantle the Western Digital Elements SE. It was it's a USB 3 device. It's 500 gigs. It looks like this. It's a tiny little sucker. Here is a the drive I'm replacing. I'm actually upgrading my PlayStation 3 from 120 gigs to 500, which will be great. And I did this last time when I updated my laptop over there. So I'm going to do it um, on my PlayStation here instead. All right, so here's how here's how I started this. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how uh, how to do this, but it looks pretty easy. I started to pry it open with the a um, the a screwdriver bit, and then I moved to a butter knife because that seemed to have more leverage. But I was just using the screwdriver here. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, as you can see, this is all very, it's all together. I haven't taken it apart yet. And I'm going to get the butter knife in, the best from the side I found. I only have one hand, so I'm going to attempt that. I'll pull some open and then I will show you. Okay, so as you can see, I actually stuffed the knife in here and I'm going to continue to pry around this edge until I pop it all off. It's just actually got these little these little uh, square clips, so I'll show you when I pull it out. As you can see, I'm now working my way around the drive. I got my knife all the way through, and I'm going to continue around. And ta-da, I, I was able to pry it off. As soon as I got a few off, that was actually pretty easy, as you can see. It's a very, just a serial ATA drive with a USB 3 connector, I believe. Uh, it's got a little bit of a heat spreader shield or something. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it's aluminum-like. Here's the actual drive case. So I'm actually going to use my old drive here and put it in here. And since I didn't damage any of the clips, I'm going to have a USB 3, 5400 RPM, 120 gig drive. It's going to work out quite well. So I will continue to dismantle the drive. So as you can see, we've got here, I was able to just pull this out. This is just rubber, uh, rubber mounts. I think I'll be able to just put them back on the other drive. Looks like right in here is Western Digital. It's not for resale. And yeah, those are the stats. I got this at Future Shop for $54 on a Boxing Day sale plus applicable taxes. And here's all the fancy USB 3 nonsense. And now I'm going to attempt to uh, do some more with this. Well, looks like I have a bit of a fail here. This is all USB 3, and I guess the way the USB 3 connectors work on these drives is that they're completely different. doesn't look like I can unmount it at all. It looks uh, quite uh, stuck, so it doesn't look like I'm going to have any real... I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do and see if I... I'm going to see if I can hack it here, but I doubt it. I guess I'm going to have to just suck it up and use the drives as is. And as I suspected, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do anything with this drive connector on a, in a uh, serial ATA type scenario. I'm going to have to buy an OEM drive and get my serial ATA some other, some other way. But now I have a nice external 500 gig drive I can use and fart around with. So that's it for the unboxing um, and um, dismantling. Nice little, show you before I finish up, nice little case with vibration rubber in there I suppose. It does come with um, a nice 
USB 3 cable and um, yeah it seems to do quite well anyway hope you enjoy that